spherical lenses. In this video, I will be discussing about spherical lenses. Now, let's see what we mean by spherical lenses. That is, whenever a transparent material is bound by two surfaces of which one or both surfaces are spherical, it forms a lens. There are two kinds of lenses. One is the convex lens while the other is the concave lens. In case of convex lens, as shown in the figure A, its ends are narrow while its center is broader. While in the case of a concave lens, its ends are broad while its centers are narrow. The bulging lens is the convex lens. Now, in this figure, O is called the optic center of the lens. It is the center of the lens. Then, C1 and C2 are the center of curvature of the lens. Since the lens is formed by two spherical surfaces, C1 and C2 are respectively the centers of those spherical surfaces. F1 and F2. These are known as the principal focus. Principal axis is the line which is passing through the, it is an imaginary line passing through the optic center and the center of curvature C1 and C2. So, whenever a ray of light parallel to this principal axis is incident on a convex lens, it converges at a point and that point is known as the principal focus. In case of concave lens, it is the point at which the rays parallel to the principal axis appear to diverge from, as shown in this figure. Now we can see the image formation in lenses using ray diagrams. The image formation in lenses can be shown using ray diagrams. For this, some points have to be considered. The first point is a ray of light from the object parallel to the principal axis after refraction from a convex lens passes through the principal focus on the other side of the lens. In case of a concave lens, the ray appears to diverge from the principal focus located on the same side of the lens. It is shown in this figure. Now the second point that has, that has to be considered is a ray of light passing through a principal focus after refraction from a convex lens will emerge parallel to the principal axis. A ray of light appearing to meet at the principal focus of a concave lens after refraction will emerge parallel to the principal axis. These are shown in this figure. Now the third point is a ray of light passing through the optical center of the lens will emerge without any deviation. That is, it goes straight through. As shown in this figure, it is a straight line. Now using these principles, we can show the image formation using ray diagrams. First, we can see the image formation by convex lens. These are the different image formations when the object's position is kept at different positions. The first case is when the object is at infinity. In this case, the light rays are parallel to the principal axis and an image is formed at the focus F2. The image formed is highly diminished or point sized. When the object is kept beyond F1, beyond 2F1, an object is formed on the other side of the convex lens between F2 and 2F2. This image is also diminished in size. If we keep 
an object at 2f1 then an image is formed on the other side of the convex lens at 2f2 the size of image is same as that of the object now when an object is kept between 2f1 and f1 then an image is formed beyond 2f2 which is enlarged now when an object is kept at focus f1 then the image formed is at infinity and is infinitely enlarged when the object is kept between the optic center and the focus f1 then the image formed is virtual and erect and it is formed on the same side as that of the object now these points are summarized in this table that is position of the object position of image size of image nature of image when position of object is at infinity the position of image is at focus f2 that is on the other side now size of image is highly diminished point size nature of image is real and inverted now beyond 2f1 the position of image is between f2 and 2f2 the size of image is diminished now nature of image is real and inverted now position of object when at 2f1 is the position of image is at 2f2 and size of image is same size nature of image is real and inverted now when position of object is between f1 and 2f1 position of image is beyond 2f2 then this size of the image is enlarged and the nature of image is real and inverted now when position of object is at focus f1 then the position of image is at infinity and the size of the image is infinitely large or highly enlarged nature of image is real and inverted now when position of the object is between the f1 and optic center then position of image is on the same side of the lens as the object the size of the image is enlarged the nature of image is virtual and erect now we can see the image formation by concave lens in case of convex convex lens only two cases are considered that is when the object is at infinity and when the object is between the optic center and infinity in the first case an image a virtual erect image is formed at f1 that is on the same side as the object is kept in the case when the object is kept between optic center and infinity an image is formed between the optic center and f1 on the same side the image formed is diminished now these are summarized in this table that is when position of object is at infinity and when the position of image is at focus f1 and then the size of the image is highly diminished or point sized nature of image is virtual and erect now when the position of object is between infinity and optic center o position of image is between f1 and o size of the image is diminished and the nature of image is virtual and erect now sign conventions for spherical lenses sign conventions are similar to that of spherical mirrors that is light rays always come appear to come from the left side and the light and the directions take taken towards right are positive while the direction taken towards left are negative and the inverted images are negative while the erect images are positive now in case of lenses all distance measurements are taken from the optic center o 
then the focal length of convex lens is positive and the focal length of concave lens is negative. Now, lens formula and magnification. In the case of lenses, the lens formula is given by 1 by V minus 1 by U is equal to 1 by F, where V is the image distance, U is the object distance and F is the focal length of the lens. Now, magnification is the ratio of height of image to height of object. It is given by V by U in terms of image and object distance. Now we can see what we mean by a power of a lens. The degree of convergence or divergence of light rays achieved by a lens is expressed in terms of its power. The power of a lens is defined as the reciprocal of its focal length. It is represented by P. Hence we can say P is equal to 1 by small letter r. The SI unit is diopter. The power in the case of concave lens is negative and in the case of convex lens is positive. So this is the end of this video. In this video I have discussed about spherical lenses, its image formation, the lens formula, its magnification and the power of the lens. If you have got any doubt in any of the topics mentioned in this video, please comment in the section below this video. Thank you.